Hello children, do you know what we are going to do today? Yes, you are right. We are going to know and learn about two digit numbers. Can anyone tell me which is the first two digit number? Yes, you are right, it is 10. How? Very good question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, 10 is the first two digit number. It is also the smallest two digit number. Exactly. Now, we will know about the topic tens and ones. Yeah, we will do an activity. Firstly, we will write the numbers in the form of 10 plus. Let us do it. 11 equals to 10 plus 1. 12 equals to 10 plus 2, 13 equals to 10 plus 3, 14 equals to 10 plus 4, 17 equals to 10 plus 7, 20 equals to 10 plus 10, 22 equals to 10 plus 10 plus 2. Similarly, 32 equals to 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 2. Now, if we make bundles of 10 sticks together and keep them on the mat, so the same thing we will do with an activity and show you for that. We need these sticks and let us count these sticks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 as you see. Ten sticks together is 10 plus 1. 11. Similarly, if we show 15, then this is again a bundle of 10 and we will need 5 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 15 is 1 10 bundle of 10 sticks and 5 sticks. Similarly, if we show 20, then in 20 we will require one 10 and another 10. This is 20. Similarly, if to show 28, if we show 28, we will need two bundles of 10 sticks. 10, 10, this becomes 20. Plus we will need 8 separate sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, 8 ones and 2 tens. If it is 58, can you all tell me how to do it? 58. See, 8 separate sticks are here. And we need 5 bundles of 10 sticks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 tens and 8 ones, 58. In the same way, we can do 72. 72 will have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 
see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 70 and we have 2. So, we will require 2 ones. This is 72. In this way, all two digit numbers can be written in tens and ones. Can you guess which is the last two digit number? Absolutely right, it is 99. Can we write it as tens and ones? 99? Yes, it will have 9 tens and 9 ones. 99 being the last two digit number, it is the largest two digit number. So, now we have come to know that 10 is the smallest two digit number and 99 is the largest two digit number. There is another activity for you children, it is like a board game. In this game, there is a color coding for each place value. Does it sound interesting? Yes. So, everyone be ready with your colors. I will show you how to do. We will use colors white and yellow and this is the board as you see and it is written as a place value board. It has 5 colors in it, but in class 2 we will require only 2 colors white and yellow white for ones and yellow for tens. As you see children, we have some number cards too. See these are the number cards I have. These are the two digit number cards. It has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and we can make any numbers with these cards. And these are the single digit number cards which has 1, 2, 3, it has 0, 2, 0 is also there in these cards. And the interesting part of these is the color here is also 2 digit number is 10s, so it is yellow and 1 digit number is 1s, so it is white. One more item is there in this board game, as you can see there are tokens, there are tokens and these tokens are also of the same color. Now, the rule of the game is that one child has to spell a number, spell a two digit number and the other has to show the number in the number card and place the tokens on the board. We will give two claps for the child who does both correctly. Let us start. The number is 31. So, 31 will require a 30 and we will place a 1. So, this number is 31. Now, 30 means 3 tokens and 1, 1 for 1s and for 30, 1, 10, 20, 30. So, this is 31. Okay. Now, we need to put the card in the place and token on the board. A very good question asked, why 3 ma'am? The number is 31. So, why here 3? 1 yellow is, yellow is 10s. So, 1 yellow means 1 10. The bundle we showed, there 1 bundle was 10, here 1 token is 10 and here one white token is 1 and one yellow token is 10. So, one yellow token stands for 10. So, 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. Then we require three yellow tokens as each yellow token stands for a 10. Could you understand? Okay. Now, we take another number. Suppose, the number is 58. Suppose the number is 58, then what will be required? We will require a 50 and 50 will be the two digit number and we will require a 8. So, 
the number is 58. Now, how will we do it? The tokens we have to take now. Let us remove. One white stands for one, one white. So, how many ones? Eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tokens we have put ones. The number is 58. So, we will have one yellow token is 10. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, 5 tens token. Well done. In this way, you can play this board game in your class with your friends and also at your home with your brothers and sisters. You can even play with your parents. Yes, there is another activity for you all. This is also equally interesting and can be played in your class in large groups. See what I have brought for you. This is an abacus and see what is written in it. Units, tens. Now, units is another name for ones and tens remains the same. In class 2, we will use ones and tens, only these two place values. That is only two digit numbers. Now, you have understood? Any child can spell a number and the other has to arrange the beads in this abacus. So, let us start. Can anyone tell me the smallest two digit number? Yes, it is 10. How can we show it in this abacus? 10, which digit will come in the place of 1s? 0. Yes, 0. What does 0 mean? 0 means no value. So, there will be no bead in this ones place. It will be empty. And what will come in the tens column? Yes, one bead will come in the tens column. So, now this number in this abacus is showing 10. So, the smallest two digit number can be shown like this. Now, suppose it is 11. What will happen? 10 is already there and in one's place there will be 1. So, it will become 11. If one more bead will come here, it will be 12. Well done. Now, let us take the largest two digit number. What is it? 99. Very good. Now, how will we show 99 in this abacus? How many beads will we require for one's place? For 99, we need 9 beads. How many beads are there? 1, 2, 3 more, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 beads are there in the column of ones. What about the tens place? One is already there. So, this is 10. Another one will make it 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So, 99. What is the good part of this game is that it is compact and you do not need a separate box to store the different items. Beads are already in their place. Now, one assignment for you all. It is on the screen. See the question carefully and click a pick of it 
and do it in your notebooks. Hope you like the class. Keep playing with numbers. They are real fun. Thank you.